Alrighty, so we're back to talk about some more Dragon Ball Sparking Zero. In today's topic, we're going to be talking a little bit more about the Tournament of Power and the characters that we're probably going to be seeing as, long, as well as the stage. I'm just going to play a couple clips from the trailer and we'll go from there. I am Super Vegito! Challenge accepted. Come at me! Wow, that kind of stuff! No mercy. Justice is absolute. So, you're my opponent, huh? Here I come! Hacha! You're gonna have to do better than that! You're very good! I'll help you, Rosie! <laughs> you are powerless before my love! After all this, you really think I'll surrender? Alright, so uh, now that we've watched that, is there anything that you've uh, kind of noticed? Still no? You haven't noticed it? Oh my god. No, no, I'm, I'm joking. But something that I noticed about the stage itself is that it is very small. The stage is very, very small, especially for the Tournament of Power. Now, I'm not, I swear, I am not hating on the game. I love the game. It's beautiful. It's just, you know, I just, it's like a small little thing that I, was, I guess I was kind of hoping for that I don't, they didn't, they didn't really do, if that makes sense. Now, I do want to give it a, a grain of salt. The game is not out yet, but it's a very slim chance that they're actually even going to fix this or, you know, expand the map. But one thing I wanted for the Tournament of Power was for there to be different phases of stage destruction kind of like how it is for close so yeah of course like we start the match off with the with the stage completely clean you know it's not messed up at all and then somebody hits the the ground with a blast or a beam or whatever and then the sky turns green then that's the second phase of the tournament of power destruction right and that's when all the little pillars and everything it kind of looks like mountains and stuff start to show up that's, that would be like the second layer. And then the third layer was going to be like, oh yeah, like if the stage got hit again, then it like turned to the purple sky or whatever. Or maybe even when, because you know like in most of the stages, uh, when the players are going into full power or going into sparking mode, the, the sky turns gray. You know, like there's clouds and everything forming. But what if on this stage, when you're going into sparking mode, the sky starts to turn purple. That would be a cool little detail that I don't think that they probably did, but if they did, that would be super, super just bizarre to me. Because I was really hoping that, you know, when we were on that stage that there it would it would appear big you know even if the stage itself wasn't even actually big of course there would be borders so you couldn't actually i just cracked my bone there would be borders so you couldn't actually go to the full extent of the stage but it's like you can still see that there's still more stage left for from what we saw in the trailer it's like one big giant circle and then it's pretty much you can see the edge even if you turn your camera like wherever you turn there's the edge of the stage already and that's I don't think that's how the stage was supposed to be maybe they made it accurate or maybe they tried to downscale it so that it was more playable for console and everything but if I'm correct I'm pretty sure that stage is supposed to be very giant because how else were they like going all over the place and not falling off instantly you know Unless it's just that's how it was supposed to appear in the anime. I don't know. I feel like it would be a better... I, I brought up MS Paint for this. That's how you know I'm dedicated, bro. But, like, look, bro. All right, so I'm just going to draw the Tournament of Power stage here. I know that's kind of ovally instead of, like, a circle, right? But, like, you know, we have the little... We have the little outing. I think there's, like, those little triangle things on the outside. Hold on. <clears throat> so this is our tournament of power stage, you know, the voids down out here, you know, here's here's the void. You don't want to fall off in there, right? You don't want to fall in the void at all, right? Okay, so now let's say that we have a player. So we got Goku and Jiren here, and they're like fighting, you know, but look, look how much space that they still have. What, what, what can I use? Look how much space that they have from where they are, because they're super small, to like here. Even from here the edge is still pretty pretty far away from like the sizes that they are 
And my complaint is, I guess, is that get rid of, like, everything else that I've shown you. The stage itself is probably, like, this big in total. Like, if we just erase this whole outside, right? This here, this is probably how big the stage actually is compared to, like, w you know, how it actually is in the anime. We got Goku and Jiren going just crazy, just throwing punches at each other, right? They're just throwing punches. You still can't see the edge of the stage here. Like, there's still so much more. There's still so much more, like, grounding here, right? We could say that the border would be, like, here behind them. I know this is so weird to, like, show because it's 2D and it's hard to tell what I'm actually doing. But, like, we could say that this is the border here. But, look, there's still more stage left. Even though you can't really see it, it, it gives off the illusion that the stage is bigger than it actually is. Another one of my little gripes with it, but something else right i don't think i don't think the character should be able to fly the characters characters should not be like or at least you should be able to turn off the feature to be able to fly um on certain stages so like the tournament of power stage uh there should be an option to where you can cut off you can cut off the ability to fly and so it makes it makes the rules of the tournament of power a little bit more realistic and here i got a uh, goku and jiren here i'm sure you guys could tell i'm a very good drawer on uh computer so yeah um but yeah you shouldn't be able to fly or anything like just just straight like jumps and stuff i would even reference hercule but it's the fact that he can basically technically fly i don't like that i don't like how they did hercules like movement but then again i don't hate the game i love the game I'm not trying to be perfect, I swear, please. Literally, I'm not trying to be perfect. <laughs> Just hear me out, okay? You should be able to get knocked off the stage, and if you get knocked off the stage, that's like an instant, like, disqualification, or, yeah, or, like, that means that your character's instantly KO'd, and if you have a teammate on your team, then it just switches straight to them. I don't know, man. I don't know. Does anybody agree? If anybody agrees with me, like, oh, yeah, no, that stage is pretty small. Like, let me know because I don't want to feel like I'm just, like, nitpicking it because I really do like how the stage looks and everything. It's just I was really hoping for those certain elements like stage destruction more than just rocks breaking like we saw in the trailer. Like, actual, like, phases and the sky green. I don't want it to be, like, a separate stage. I want it to all be in one. Uh, but if we don't get that, that, that's understandable as well. No, I'm not going to keep yapping. I'll just do like a little brief summary. So we have multiple phases of stage destruction. I think that would be cool. The option to turn off flight for tournament stages would also be cool. And then also, I wish that the stage was a bit bigger because I feel like it is very small. It's like a mini version of the tournament of power stage, which is eh, you know. But it's still cool. It's still cool. I respect it. Alright, so here we have the different universes. These are pretty ugly pictures, but I can kind of like tell who's from Universe 2, Universe 3, and, and all that. Some of you may disagree with me, but I would really like to see every character from the Tournament of Power in the game. All of the robots, uh, I, I don't know how they do it to make them actually interesting or people want to play them. But like, even this Power Ranger guy, like the Power Ranger guy down here, that I think he fought Vegeta... He also fought Frieza. Uh, we got this guy here, and he I think he was fighting Master... No, 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 no. Goku was in Super Saiyan while fighting uh, this guy, and Master Roshi was getting beat up by Frost or something. Uh, he, I, I know I, I saw him a, a couple times, so he's probably going to be playable. Uh, even the Yardrat guy, he was fighting Gohan. It's like... They said that we we're going to get a lot of unexpected characters. This guy, he fought Master Roshi. Uh, she fought Kaba. Like, we're, we're... The chances of us not getting these guys are slim, but also not slim at the same time, if that makes any sense. Universe 6, we're definitely getting everybody from Universe 6. I don't know about the little hog guy, though. Uh, that would be interesting. But, no, I... Just besides that, Universe 10, did we even see much of them? They were kind of trash, dude. <laughs> I don't care, dude. I need everybody. Everybody from Universe 11, you know we're getting them. So if we're going to get everybody from Universe 11, why, we, why would we not get everybody from every other universe? That would be kind of weird to me. But I guess here's like a better like character select looking format. So you can actually like 
see the characters better and like how it's not that many but it is still a lot like this looks like a whole game roster in itself so that's the thing though so we have like these little mini guys these guys you couldn't even see you know you couldn't even see these guys on the field so how they would do them but also keep them accurate i don't know maybe you could like see their aura i don't know bro i don't know how they do it but i really do hope that they everybody from the tournament of power can get in because that in itself is like a huge huge w huge roster even if you guys are saying oh well that they're just taking up character slots they're just taking up character slots it's the fact it's the fact that the most insignificant characters can get in that makes it a lot more realistic of a game like it just makes it more realistic that they weren't not included especially if they were a part of that uh what is it if they were a part of that arc like let them in you know don't let a freaking i don't know don't let one of the side characters that just like got blown up by beerus or like the ninjas that frieza destroyed in the be don't let them be in they weren't important you know but these guys they, they all had a role and i feel like they all have the right to be in the game so uh yeah that's my little spiel though on the tournament of power in terms of dragon ball sparking zero uh i really do hope i it, like if the stage i guess is not that big of a deal but i really do hope that we can see all of these characters in the game um that would be that would be really nice so let me know what you guys think about what we went over in this video like if you guys agree if you guys disagree if you think it's too much like just just let me know let's talk let's talk because i I'm, I'm down to discuss anything so yeah that's pretty much it i'll see you guys later peace